to select gear, simply click on an item with your mouse. When an item is selected, a rectangle surrounds the item and its properties are displayed in the Properties pane. Any actions you perform are applied to the selected items. For example, if you select Delete, the selected item is deleted. It's worth noting that most of the commands in vRigger also have a keyboard shortcut. The keyboard shortcuts are displayed when you hover your mouse over a toolbar button. For example, you can see that the shortcut key for deleting gear is the delete key. So I can select gear and then press the delete key to delete it. As explained in another video, you can use the undo command to undo your previous actions. If you click on a location where two pieces of gear overlap, a small menu will appear asking you which item to select. You can simply pick an item from the list. In addition to clicking on gear to select it, you can also click on white space and then drag your mouse around an item. If you drag your mouse around multiple items, multiple items will be selected. When multiple items are selected, any actions that you perform will be applied to the selected items. As with most Windows programs, you can press the Shift key while clicking on items to select multiple items. Here are a few selection tips for power users. You can press the Tab key or press the Shift and Tab keys to move the selection between gear that's on the workspace. You can also use the Select All and Deselect All commands on the Home toolbar. This is handy if you want to drag or delete all of the gear on the workspace. vRigger also has a selection pane. The selection pane shows the currently selected items. It also allows you to select items by name. A separate video named Drawing Order in the Selection Pane provides details on using the Selection Pane.